I visited Louisville, Kentucky on June 26th and 27th, 2021. Just for the record, I didn't see any cousins kissing each other and I didn't see anyone with missing teeth. Nonetheless, I split up the city and Jefferson County into 13 sections where I'll be able to show the entire city within a series of just over a dozen videos. In this series of videos, you'll see all of the good and all of the bad. So why not share a fifth of bourbon with your best butter gal and come along to see the entire city of Louisville, Kentucky. I begin the video at the Parklands of Floyd's Fork, or maybe it's called Beckley Creek Park as the sign says ahead. Nonetheless, it's a nice park that has a decent amount of trails as I mentioned at the beginning of my video that goes through the Middletown and Hurstbourne area, or the part of the city that's full of all the bourbon snobs. But if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, then you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you'll see here can be found in my Louisville playlist or in my Kentucky playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. As the title of this video says, this is going to be on Jefferson Town, and I'll get to Jefferson Town eventually, not that much longer. I do spend the majority of my time in this video in Jefferson Town. Since I'm trying to go through all areas of Louisville, however, I do drive through some areas that appear to be rural. That's because they are. But at the same time, it's all a part of the Louisville city limits because in 2003, the city of Louisville annexed all of the unincorporated land within Jefferson County. If you've seen my other Louisville videos, then I don't need to say more, as you already know the rest of the story. But if not, I put it together quite nicely in my video that goes through downtown Louisville, so make sure to check that video out if you're interested in learning more about Louisville. But as I said, in this video I'm going through not only Jefferson Town, but also the area of Louisville that is south of I-64 and east of the imaginary line of Hurstbourne Parkway and Bardstown Road. I would say that 80% of this area is all a part of the 40299 zip code. It includes all of the suburb of Jefferson Town and the outlying areas that belong to the Louisville city limits that are south and east of Jefferson Town. The 40299 zip code is home to 41,000 residents, and the median household income is $75,000 per year. 40% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $212,000. The poverty rate is 4.5%. Niche.com ranks the area schools as an A-, minus, which for Louisville is really good, as most of the Louisville metro area has lower performing public schools. With all of that said, you should be able to tell that this is an upper middle class area.
And after driving through what looked like rural countryside, we've made it to the Jefferson Town city limits. As soon as we enter it though, we also come across the Papa John's headquarters which has this park that sits in front of the offices. As I'm making this video however, Papa John's is working on moving its main headquarters to a suburban Atlanta office while keeping some offices here in Jefferson Town. Papa John's is the nation's largest pizza chain, and the first restaurant opened in Jeffersonville, Indiana, which is across the river from Louisville, and that was back in 1984. And oh yes, the mighty headquarters of Papa John's Pizza. Not for long though, I don't know what that tent's doing out in front either. And I guess there's this nice statue of a horse that sits outside of the offices. At this point I head towards the downtown area, one of the very few Louisville suburbs on the Kentucky side that has a true downtown. Onto the history, the area that is Jefferson Town today was originally settled in the late 1700s as Revolutionary War veterans were the first to come through. In 1794, a man named Abraham Bruner purchased 122 acres at the cross streets of Main and Market Streets. Today those streets are called Taylorsville Road and Waterson Trail. The original town was named Brunersville after its founder, but in 1797 the town was named Jefferson Town after Thomas Jefferson. There's a lot of places named Jefferson around here. I wonder if they used the phrase of keeping up with the Jeffersons instead of keeping up with the Joneses. No? Okay. Jefferson Town, Kentucky is home to 28,000 residents and the median household income is nearly $69,000 per year. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $181,000 and 38% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The poverty rate is a low 6% and Niche.com ranks the public schools as a B- while the crime rates are well below average. At least the violent crime rates, the property crime rates are just right around average. Now that we cross over the railroad tracks, we leave the industrial area and we now enter the parts of the city where people actually live.
began, and according to the city's website, it's the fifth largest festival in Kentuckiana. The Gaslight Festival brings in around 200,000 visitors per year, and it's centered around Gaslight Square. Next, I head towards the high school.
This is Jefferson Town High School, home of the Chargers? Really? The Chargers? Because nearby Iroquois High School goes by the Raiders. For football purposes, two other nearby high schools should change their mascots to the Chiefs and the Broncos. Anyway, Jefferson Town High School is rated as a C plus on Niche.com and is a part of the larger Jefferson County Public School District. Among the most well-known alumni include Troy E. Black, who is the 19th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps and undrafted NFL defensive tackle Daniel Ross, who's currently a free agent. To the left, you can see the school's athletic fields. And here you can see the school itself. The rest of this video will be going through the residential areas of Jefferson Town that I haven't yet been through so far. We'll also go through other parts of Louisville that are residential that are nearby to Jefferson Town. So if you're interested in seeing what the area looks like, the rest of this video would be great for that. On this side of the tracks, it looks like the homes are a little bit more upscale than in the neighborhood that we were just in. Nothing wrong with the neighborhood we were just in, it just looks like the homes out here are a little bit bigger and a little bit more valuable. Now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and share what I think about Jefferson Town. My opinion is based off of all the research that I've done for not only Jefferson Town, but for all parts of the Louisville metro area, as I've made videos on nearly the whole area at this point. I also have lived nearby in southern Indiana for a good chunk of my life, so I feel like I know the Louisville area pretty well. Also consider the fact that everyone is going to have their own opinions, wants, and desires when it comes to choosing a place to live. For me, I'm not planning on moving to Louisville, I've never lived here, nor will I ever. But as I mentioned, I used to live nearby for a long time, and I've even had some relatives that have lived here. I can say in my honest opinion that I would have Jefferson Town on my short list of places that I would want to move to. I'm more so attracted to the Highlands area or the Cherokee Triangle, but obviously you need a lot more money for that, and if money is limited, I would definitely look at Jefferson Town. 
The reason for that is because the public schools here are higher than most other places in the Louisville metro area, and even if I don't have kids or don't plan on having kids, living in an area with good public schools will help your home keep its value over time, and if you want to do that, then you should look at communities that have good schools. Jefferson Town is a safe community with low crime rates, and you can tell by the economic stats that poverty is low and that the median household income is decently high. You can call me a snob if you want, but to that I would say, isn't that what everyone would want, to live in a desirable community? Well anyway, for location's sake, I wouldn't consider that as much when looking at somewhere to live in the Louisville metro area personally, as pretty much everything nice is on the east side and everything ghetto and run down is on the west side. And if you live on the east side, then you're close to pretty much any amenity that you want, and you're probably not that far away from work. So I would stay on the east side, as that's likely where you would find the places that would make you happy to live in. Jefferson Town is simply a more affordable option when it comes to some of the other east side communities, so once again I feel comfortable in saying that I would look to buy a home here if I were moving here. Of course you should find a local realtor to help you out with everything in the big picture if you're actually going to buy a place to live, but in my opinion, Jefferson Town isn't a bad place to start looking if you're moving to the Louisville area. It looks like out here on Bardstown Road you have a nice selection of cheap retail stores and cheap fast food restaurants.
After going through another empty section of Louisville that doesn't look like it should belong to any city, I re-entered Jefferson Town and I do end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you saw here can be found in my Louisville playlist or in my Kentucky playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!